this lesson is chapter uh, 3, lesson 1.1, Inequalities and Their Graphs. First of all, uh, the solution of an inequality is any value or values that make the inequality true. So in the example, x is less than 3, we actually read that as the real numbers, all real numbers less than 3, or the solutions less than 3. Okay? We read an inequality from left to right. And we always try to make sure that the variable is on the left. So for this example, I have negative 1 is greater than A. That means negative 1 is greater than all solutions. I want to rewrite that and make the variable on the left. So when I do that, I have to make sure I flip the inequality. All solutions are less than negative 1. I want to remind you about how to graph inequalities. We use an open circle when we talk about greater than or less than, and we use a closed circle when we talk about greater than and equal to or less than and equal to. All right, so let's identify these symbols. I have less than, and that is an open circle in a number line. I would probably shade to the left for less than. Um, greater than, this is the greater than symbol. That is also an open circle. So it is greater than, shade to the right. Um, this is, next one is less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. So that one is going to be a closed circle, shade to the left. And the last one is greater than or equal to. Okay, again, closed circle, greater than, so I'm going to shade to the right. Okay, the interesting thing is that if the variable is first, I always shade in the direction that our arrow or inequality is pointing. So when the variable comes first, I will always shade in the direction that my inequality is pointing. Okay? All right, here's an example. Is each number a solution of 6x minus 3 is greater than 10? So I have A, is 1 a solution to the inequality 6x minus 3 is greater than 10? So 6x minus 3 is greater than 10. The only way I know if 1 is a solution is I plug 1 in for the value of the variable. 6 times 1 minus 3 is greater than 10. Well, 6 times 1 is 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 is not greater than 10, so 1 is not a solution, okay? Let's look over here at 3. Write the inequality again, 6x minus 3 is greater than 10. Substitute in for the value of x, 6 times 3 minus 3 is greater than 10. 6 times 3 is 18 minus 3. Well, 18 minus 3 is 15. Is 15 greater than 10? Yes, it is. So 3 is a solution to the inequality 6x minus 3 is greater than 10. Example 2. Example 2. I have to um, graph each one of these. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a number line. Now, when you're making your number lines, I do not need you to label every single number or every single hash mark. And the reason being is because I think a lot of times that gets sloppy, all right? So I have A is less than 1, or all solutions or all real numbers less than 1. So I'm going to put an open circle on the 1, and I'm going to shade to the left. That's the direction that my inequality is pointing. Okay? Let's look at our second example. Graph n greater than or equal to 
three and three fourths. Okay? So zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so n is greater than three and three fourths. So oh, it's greater than or equal to, sorry. So open circle or close? Yeah, it's going to be a closed circle. I'm going to shade to the right. Could have made my graph a little bit bigger. That's all right. You get the idea. Okay? Shade to the right. Our last example, I need to graph 2 is less than P, or two, sorry, 2 is greater than P, or 2 is greater than all solutions. So the first thing that I'm going to do is rewrite this inequality. So that looks like P is less than 2, or all solutions are less than 2. Now I'm going to graph that. 0, 3, 1, 2, negative 3. Okay. P is less than 2. So open circle on the 2. I'm going to shade to the left. Okay. I think we have one more example. One more example. Write an inequality for each graph. So my first graph, I have a closed circle and I've shaded to the right. So I already know it's going to be greater than or equal to 2. I can choose my variables. So I'm just going to say let x equal a real number. So x is greater than or equal to 2, or all solutions greater than or equal to 2. My last example is an open circle, and it's shaded to the left, so that's going to be less than. It's right on the 0. So let x equal a real number. And that says x is less than 0, or all solutions less than 0. All right? And that's it. Okay, your homework is on page, I really don't know, it's less than 3.1, and it's listed on my big campus. So you have less than 3.1, homework is on my big campus, and the textbook is also uploaded. All right, good luck.